Third-year UNK faculty member Dr. Powell is the planetarium director and knows a little bit about the history of this amazing building. Six and a half, seven years ago, they opened this new half of the building. So there's some new classrooms upstairs. We have the planetarium here, which used to be down in the basement, as I understand it, and it was not ADA accessible. They were able to get NASA funding. So NASA grant paid for a substantial chunk of this, I think, particularly the projector itself. Actually, it's got fiber optics in there to position the locations of the stars. It's known for being very realistic looking uh, in terms of the way you project the stars. We do elementary school shows, general public shows, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, high schools, all kinds of stuff during the year. Probably on, uh, at least one a week on average, I think, is the, the number of shows. The spring, it picks up. We do get a lot of folks through, and then we do the monthly public shows that we advertise. Dan Glomsky is the senior educator at the Edgerton Explorer Center in Aurora, Nebraska, and directs the planetarium shows at UNK. I worked at uh, the Hastings Planetarium, the J.M. McDonald Planetarium, for a long time. And so they hire, they've hired me to do these shows, and we have a good time doing them. It's a beautiful facility. Um, it's a beautiful star projector that they have in the middle, and uh, we definitely make use of that. Um, we try to do a theme show once a month, so we do some of the usual sky tour that people want to see, but we also try to do a theme with each month, so it, sometimes it involves a PowerPoint, sometimes a hands-on demonstration, what have you. And so generally the shows last about 40 minutes, and we get a pretty good crowd for them. And I usually do, do them during the summer months as well, and the schedule does vary a little bit depending on which Friday night I can, I can make. And so they'll, they'll want to check the website before they come out. And I do suggest that people come out early. Uh, sometimes the shows do fill up, and occasionally I have to do two shows. I don't often do two shows, but sometimes I do. So we recommend that people be here around 6.30 at the latest to get their free tickets. The shows are free. There's no admission charged. If you can bring some food items, some non-perishable food item, items for the pantry, so much the better.